my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. And I'm here to review probably a film you guys have never heard of, and it's called Crow's Nest. It is a 2012 film. I have never heard about this film until during the summertime of 2013 when my family from out of town came to visit me and my family and stayed here at the house for a couple of weeks. My cousin, who loves to instantly stream horror films on Netflix, she one day looked up a film called Crow's Nest. I had no idea what Crow's Nest was. But, of course, with me being a movie fanatic, I decided to give it a chance, as I do with every film. I came into Crow's Nest just thinking it was going to be a movie about a crow and a nest. Yeah, the film is nothing like that at all. It has nothing to do with a crow or a nest. This film is about in the summer of 2011 where these five young friends, they go to this forest called Crow's Nest and they go missing after being attacked by nomadic cannibals from this huge ass RV. And the video without the knowing is being like recorded by the victims and it's like police evidence from like the unsolved murders. That's all you need to know about Crow's Nest. <sighs> this film is so fucking horrible. It's not even horrible. It's how I like to describe it. An abomination. Crow's Nest is one of the worst films I've seen in my life. I'm serious. Here, I don't even need this thing. The movie has nothing to do with you. Shoot. Anyways, I hated this film. This film delivered nothing. Nothing. It is a horror thriller film, but it literally delivers nothing. You've seen this film done multiple times. It is recycled. It is cliched. It is not refreshing. It is nothing new. It's just predictable. It's just like any other cliched horror film. And when the film tries to be disturbing, it still literally delivers nothing. There's basically no plot to Crow's Nest. The, really, the only plot is like with these five friends and all that stuff. But when you look at the movie closely, there's basically little to no plot in this piece of crap. The acting is atrocious. The writing is sloppy and lazy. Crow's Nest, it is boring. It is lazy. It is awful. It is a true abomination. This film is literally a disgrace to horror films. I've seen so many bad horror films. You have no idea how much horror crap I've seen. But this film is literally a disgrace to horror. And even when you watch the film, you really don't feel like there's a passion here. Like, you don't really feel like the writer or the director had a passion for this film. They just made for the sake of it saying, Okay, let's make this film. Let's make it sloppy. Let's deliver absolutely nothing so we can earn our paychecks. Cha-ching! Obviously, I think they were just doing it for the money. I saw no passion or energy into this film. The actors looked like they were just here for the paycheck as well. Like, seriously, what actor would want to be in a shit movie like this anyways? Uh, the cinematography is awful as well. There's absolutely nothing good about this film. And also, the ending is predictable as hell. It has the same cliched ending to a horror film you would already expect. Like, literally, when my cousin and I were watching this film, we're all like, okay, the film's gonna end like this. The film's gonna end like this. The film is gonna end like this. Boom! The film ended like that. It ended exactly how me and my cousin expected. It's predictable, it's lazy, it's sloppy, it's extremely boring, and there's absolutely nothing good. Crow's Nest is an abomination, and if I saw this film in 2012, it definitely would have been in my worst list. But, too bad it wasn't a film I saw in 2012, and too bad I've never heard of it until summer 2013. 
But this film definitely would have been in my worst list of 2012 if I saw it that year. Because I'm giving this film my lowest of the low rating. Zero out of four stars. It was that horrendous. Not even bad. Not even awful. It is just freaking horrendous. A true abomination not only to the horror genre, but in filmmaking history. Seriously, fuck Crow's Nest. Fuck this movie. I am 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!